Hey guys, I am Dice Show and I am here with a gameplay commentary of Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm playing some classic team deathmatch. This is from the night where I was playing the live commentary session, but then realized that I had my mic muted. So, uh, unfortunately, they were all good games, and this one is a 31 and 5, and I'm using the FAMAS and probably Ghost Sleight of Hand Ninja, because that's what I seem to always be using. But anyway, back on the Xbox 360, and it is glorious. <laughs> the Xbox is just, for some reason, the creators of Call of Duty had a vendetta against the PS3 or something, because it is just so much worse. But anyway, I had a topic to talk about in this video, which was the killstreaks in Black Ops versus Modern Warfare 2. Because last week I was playing some Modern Warfare 2 when I was too fed up with Black Ops, and I... Had not had I have not had that much fun in like uh, in the entirety of me playing Black Ops even even when I'm not getting dropped or anything as I did when I was uh, in the AC-130 that I got from a care package in my second game I think I got like 12 kills with it or something like that and it was amazing um, so I wanted to talk about this topic because I'm really not enjoying the kill streaks in Black Ops that much. And it's not just because I have a hard time getting them, because I can get chopper gunners pretty often. It's like the first couple of days chopper gunners were like, yeah, this is going to be the best thing ever. Like when I pulled out my chopper gunner. But now it's just like, oh, whatever, I'll probably get a couple of kills and then it'll get shot down. Or if it doesn't get shot down, then they're just going to be hiding in buildings or something. So anyway, I'm just going to start from the lower streaks and work my way up. Obviously, RCXD, I hate it, but maybe I should start using it. Maybe it would be more fun. I don't know. Um, does anybody, any of my subscribers, actually use that kill streak? Um, would would that be? I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine it being that fun. It's just driving a little fucking car around. I mean, there are plenty of racing games that you can play if you if that's up your alley. I guess I don't know why they put it in a Call of Duty game. But anyway, next streak that's new would be the Sam turret, which I never use, and I don't think anybody ever uses. Um, it's just not worth the amount of trouble that you have to go through to get it because you also have to you have to throw down the care package and wait for it and whatever and then it'll just get stabbed like knife most of the time so it's like you could use it as a strella <laughs> as in if they call on the spy plane just throw it down and then then get a kill with it or something but you could just run strella as a secondary it's not like the secondaries in this game are any good or anything but um anyway uh, let's keep moving on the I, I like the fact that the care package is a five kill streak rather than a four. I feel like it was a little too powerful as a as a four kill streak in in uh, Modern Warfare 2. And definitely with Hardline Pro, if it was only a four kill streak three with Hardline, then it would be like way too powerful, I think. But anyway, the next kill streak is the Napalm, and I like the Napalm. I kind of w it's definitely one of my favorites in the game. Probably my favorite kill streak, but. I mean, it's it's great because it's a lot of fun to use, and I feel like you need a lot of map knowledge to use it because most of the time people just use it to like cut off a point of the map, and that's what all the commentators pretty much say to do. But I feel like that's kind of a waste because I mean, it's nice to cut off the map, and sometimes it's really useful, especially in objective games. But in some game types, you're gonna want to actually uh, get kills with it. So the best way to get kills with it is to put it along a common traffic pattern not not traffic traffic lane i guess i don't know a place that is commonly uh traveled pretty much is what i'm trying to say and then you can get a lot of kills with it so i feel like it kind of takes some skill to use and it's a lot of fun because you just get to set your enemies on fire like it's it's a fun thing i don't know whatever uh, mortar team is it's an enjoyable perk, and it, I mean, kill streak, and it's useful on like Nuketown and Fire Range and other sp and small maps like that and stuff. And obviously, in objective game modes, it can be really useful because you can just bombard even a few areas. There was one game where I protected all three flags with it once because I just put down all three of them, and we ended up winning the game because we had to dominate for a little bit, a little bit, and I just used my mortar team and my napalm to assure us the victory. It was pretty epic, <laughs> but anyway. So the mortar team is not a bad kill streak, also, but I mean, the predator missile. I feel like that was one of the best, uh, best and most fun kill streaks ever. I mean, not only do you get to control a missile and it just like randomly kills anyone on the map, but uh, or at least one person, because it could. It, a lot of the times it killed like you got double kills and not. I didn't get triple kills that often, but I saw it a lot. 
um, and obviously you could still get quads, right? Whatever. But anyway, um, plus it built your kill streaks, and that was really nice. I kind of wish that they had that in this game. Uh, uh, none of the none of the reasons actually make sense for not building kill streaks. Like, I think what they were trying to do was make it so you didn't camp, but I don't really understand where that logic comes from. Because, as people know, you just camp harder. Because you, you have to try harder to get your killstreaks. But, what I, I mean, I think what Seenander suggested that was pretty cool was that your killstreaks don't build. But, or maybe he didn't. Maybe this was just something that I thought of. I don't remember. But, um, your killstreaks don't build. But, they don't stop. It's not like a... a, a Eh, that would be dumb, but whatever. It's not like a kill streak. It's kind of just like when you get 50 kills, you get a spy plane or whatever. It doesn't, or like 20 kills or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that's actually a pretty bad idea. I'm just going to take that back, pretend I didn't say it. <laughs> anyway, next, moving on. Um, I forgot. Uh, Precision Airstrike was 6 in Modern Warfare 2. That was pretty garbage. I don't think I ever used that. So I, I guess I'm happier with the mortar team. <laughs> but uh, Harrier Strike was pretty cool. It always helped out, and I, I never really like my goal wasn't really to get the Harrier. It always got me to my Pablo or my Chopper Gun or whatever AC-130, whatever was next. But it was, I mean, it was just so useful, and it, it usually got j the job done. And you were just like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, anyway, um, next kill streak would be the seven. Uh, yeah, seven. Oh, sentry gun in this game is just as bad as it was in Modern Warfare 2. Like, nobody ever used them. You can use them in like demolition if you want to do that, but it's just it's not such a useful kill streak. So, not really much need to talk about that. But I mean, it's just it shows you that how many of these kill streaks are just like, wow, this is boring. I'm never gonna use that. But speaking of attack helicopter, these things are so garbage in this game. Every I mean, yesterday it was playing some free for all on the Xbox and I got a bunch of kills with it because nobody bothered to shoot it down. But I mean, you can just see it's pro it's pretty much the same thing as it was in Modern Warfare 2 except it has an extra flare and that's just because it's a seven it's still a seven kill streak, but you don't but it doesn't build, so they had to make it a little better so they gave an extra flare. But I don't know. It's still it just takes a long time. It takes up space in the air. And um, you can't call in any other helicopters while you have it out, so that's not very good. But it w it's definitely better than it was in Modern Warfare 2. But it's not, it's still, it's not worth the seven kill streak at all. Like, I, the only time I'd ever use it is free for all, because then people might not shoot it down. But still, I would so much rather have had a Harrier from Modern Warfare 2, because those things they killed so much quicker, even though they only took one bullet to take down. But still, um, anyway, just gonna fast forward. Basically, Valkyrie rockets suck. I've talked about them a lot before, but they're one of the worst kill streaks ever. And I mean, they're not worth it at all. Is what I'm trying to say. And chopper gunner, gunship, dogs—they're fun, but they're just—they don't seem worth it. Dogs, it's just like, yeah, I got a pack of dogs. This is gonna be awesome, but they don't really get you that many kills. Usually, once in a while, they go shit. What? They just go crazy, and um, they get a lot of kills, but not always. And like. If you had an AC-130 in Modern Warfare 2, and they weren't, it wasn't a, a map like Skid Row where there was a lot of buildings or whatever, then you're going to get a lot of kills, and you just knew it. <laughs> and obviously, they don't have the nuke, so I don't know. That was a lot of fun. I know that it was stupid, and like a lot of the times that it was just really annoying. But I mean, I had a lot of fun with the nuke, and I kind of wish that it was still in this game. But I guess I am uh, in the minority. Obviously, there's the EMP, which I don't think I have ever even equipped in. Modern Warfare 2, because if you're using kill streaks that'll get you to the EMP, then you may as well just use kill streaks that'll get you that'll get you to the nuke because half the time they'll get you that far anyway. So this game is over, but I think I'll, I have another clip that I can just put up instead. But I hope you all enjoyed this commentary and let me know what you think. What do you did you like the uh, kill streaks in Black Ops better or the kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2? Anyway, have a nice day. Bye.